Okay. Um, so I took some time to set out all of my tomatoes um, kind of around these tomato towers. Um, what I've done is alternate uh, different types. So like for this first tower over here, I already have um, sun gold, pink Berkeley tie dye and a Wapacinta Pentacon peach. So to finish out that row, I went with something that's completely different. So I did the kaleidoscope jewel because it looks like none of the other tomatoes. So you kind of get where I'm, what I'm doing. Um, I don't want to put like a, a Cherokee purple right next to a Paul Robeson because I might get confused as to what's what when I'm picking. So that's kind of why I'm doing that. Um, this next, ooh! that was a red wasp. So did I, is it on me? Did I get, okay. Am I okay? Am I fine? Anyway, okay. Ooh, reflex. Tiger. Um, I feel like it's like in my shirt. I feel like it's on me. No, no. Okay. This next tower here. Um, Oh, also, I don't have enough room to, to plant more tomatoes. Um, I've got two vintage wine over there that I have no idea what to do with. The rest I have spread throughout the potager. So the tomato towers do not hold all of my tomatoes because I'm growing too many varieties. And the new ones that I just got in my seed halls, the full-size ones, not the micros, the dwarfs and the micros, I have pots for those. But for the full-size ones, I can't start any more seeds right now, and that makes me sad. I am tomatoed out because I'm out of tall structures to put them on because the structures that I have left, that's for um, climbing squashes, it's for cucumbers, it's for melons, watermelons, cantaloupe melons, all the melons, all the cucumbers, pickling cucumbers, big long Armenian cucumbers, all the things. Beans, like Kentucky pole beans, all the pole beans, rattlesnake pole beans, they need things to climb on. Also, I have spinaches out here. I have the Malabar spinach and I have the New Zealand spinach and I think I'm gonna plant those in with the tomatoes so that they can wind up. And at least that leaf, I know what that is. And they're small enough maybe. Anyway, let me go get my spinaches. Let me show you those real quick. Okay, so I brought this tray out from my office today and I'm so excited about these seedlings. Let me tell you what, this Malabar spinach is beautiful. It's thick and beautiful. That is thick with two C's. It is thick. Now, this is a Malabar spinach. Look at the red stems. Look how beautiful that is. This did so well growing in my office. So well. I don't know if I can pull one out. Here we go. There's the Malabar spinach. I know, I've been wanting to get it out here for a while because uh, it's starting to vine some of them. And then this other one, this New Zealand spinach, here is also doing really well. This is artichoke. I got, how many artichoke did I get? I think three. I got three artichoke. Those will get planted out. And then my milkweed, my red or swamp milkweed, I actually got three really good ones. Look at that one, that's my milkweed. This has been in my office. Um, anyway, so let me get the tomatoes and the spinach. I think I'll do the Malabar spinach up these towers and maybe a couple of the New Zealand spinach, and then I'll do the rest of the, the New Zealand spinach on the wagon arch. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's, let's see if I can do this before it gets dark, <laughs> okay. That's beautiful. It's climbing triple crop. Okay. 
I've done all the tomatoes I'm gonna do today. I think my face is bright red. I think I'm burnt. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in the house and we're gonna do this tomorrow in the rain if we have to and I will be wearing the same clothes. Yeah, no sense in dirtying up another outfit. Have to go get an umbrella, it's raining. Um, so while it's raining, I'm gonna do a little prep, uh, getting some tags made and getting some things cleaned up and then I'll come back to you when it stops raining because I don't want to ruin my phone in this rain. I went ahead and got started planting some things just because the rain was taking a little too long and I didn't want to um, let the day get away from me like yesterday. So this is uh, my wooden trellis here with my uh, Catskill Brussels sprouts. Um, on this corner here, I'm going to plant two Lily Asari tomatoes. Um, this is a smaller one I put in the ground right here um, and then I have a much, much bigger one that's going to go on this other side right here. So putting those in the ground real quick and I kind of wanted to have these documented on camera in case the uh, tags fade which they will this is an ox heart and then here is a lily asari and then I have a pink berkeley tie-dye to go on that other side all right last one pink berkeley tie-dye um also when I was planting this lily asari um it's blooming it's got a big old bloom on there so I think um after I plant all these tomatoes today before I go in I will um, go around with my electric toothbrush and go ahead and take care of all the flowers just to ensure germination because we're gonna have tomatoes like I think before the first of May. That's so exciting. Actually, the Cherry Falls that's, that's already got little cherries on it. I mean, that'll probably be what in a couple weeks. So fun. Okay, so this is the last one I'm doing over here. Um, I still may try, even with all these tomatoes, I still may try to grow some melons or some cucumbers up this trellis, just because I'm short on, <laughs> I'm short on trellis. Um, maybe next year I will look at bringing in more, uh, things for things to climb on. So, we'll see. On my wagon arch here, I'm going to plant four blue cream berries. It's a cherry tomato. It's one of my favorites from last year. Um, the taste was okay, um, the color was really pretty, but what I loved about it most was that it kept going when the summer got really hot. It didn't really slow down as much as the other tomatoes did. So this is more of a little bit of a more shady area, but I think cherry tomatoes, if any, might produce better than say a big giant indeterminate, uh, like a beefsteak type tomato. So we're going to try blue cream berries here because I'm running out of places to plant things. So here we go. Oh, those roots turn purple. Why? That's weird. That's really weird. Huh. If you know why that did that, let me know. Even the, the plant itself is a little purple, but I would not have expected the roots to be. Interesting. And there's a little bit of purple there too. Not as much as the last one, but a little bit. Roots are good. gonna plant my Baja Ha micro dwarf. That. That's gonna look so cute in here. And because it's a micro dwarf, I'm hoping this, this is enough soil for it. Now this Baja Ha micro seed was planted January 14th and it already has flowers. Oh yeah, those are good roots. Really good roots. There we go, that's cute. So I'll have to find someplace cute to put that. But for right now, I'm just gonna set it anywhere. <laughs> so next is Olapoca. Now this is also a micro tomato. So I have these two pots here that my lemon and lime trees were in. And I think, yeah, these will be perfect 
for the ola polka. So, nice roots, very nice. Burying this a little bit. There we go. Nice and well, Next one. Is this a much smaller plant? There we go. And I have a place for them over here by my tomato tower. So let's place them. That looks good, yeah? Yeah. So I put two stone pavers in between the towers, and then I have my micro tomatoes growing in between my indeterminates. So we'll see how it goes. It's all very experimental. <laughs> see what happens. Since the days are longer now, I'm gonna try to accomplish at least one thing every day after work. Just do one thing, whether it's plan out all my you know, pick a, pick a vegetable like my trombancino squash. Tomorrow when I get home from work, get out my trombancino seeds, soak them, maybe soak them before I go to work in the morning when I get home, plant out my trombancinos. And that way, by next weekend, if I can do one, at least one a day, I'd like to do more. Um, but if I could do at least one thing a day, I think I'll feel more accomplished by the time the weekend rolls around. I really wanna get to a point here early in April where everything is done, everything is planted out here. Nothing growing inside, nothing that needs to get started outside. I just want to be done. That way I can just come out here and piddle and enjoy my garden and just, you know, do some pruning and some sitting with my wine. And then when it gets too hot, I just go inside and I know that everything is done and everything is taken care of and everything is growing. That is my goal this year for 2023. So it's March 26th. So much is already done. I think it's very doable. So, <laughs> so this Ace 55 that I just planted, I think is the last thing that I'm gonna guarantee I'm gonna plant in this video. All right, I'm gonna sign off. So we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.